What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be talking about the notice board which gave us all of the information, well not all the information but a lot of new information for the Ace versus Akainu event but before we actually get into the news that's in game today I want to talk about the stuff that's going to be happening outside of the game namely on the Twitter and also the Facebook pages so if we go over to the Twitter page real quick here we have the One Piece Treasure Cruise Twitter account which is Twitter a brand new SNS campaign. We can get up to 60 gems maximum from this event. We can get 20 gems for getting 5,000 actions on Facebook and Twitter. And for every 1,000 additional actions, we get an additional 5 rainbow gems. So that means, I think it's what, what is it, 11, 12, 13,000, something like that, 12,000 uh, actions between uh, all the versions of the uh, either Twitter or Facebook, and then we'll get those additional gems. Now, currently, we've got 12,000 retweets, 1,200 retweets. Um, we also have the, uh, the likes as well, and also commenting. You want to be commenting on here as well, because that will give you uh, more actions added to the post. And unfortunately, on the Facebook page, things are looking a little grim. We don't have a lot going on here, just comparing both Facebook and Twitter. So make sure if you guys have your Facebook accounts, have your Twitter accounts, make sure to interact with these posts, share them around so we can get as many people interacting with them as possible so we can get even more rainbow gems because getting the 20 gems, we're about to hit that. We're like, I, I, just before I recorded this video, I calculated it and we're around like 4,800, 4,900. 900. So we're going to be getting 20 gems no matter what, but we want to be getting as many gems as we possibly can. And this only lasts until June 29th. So there's not a lot of time to do this. You know what? Four, four days, five days total. Make sure to get this done guys. But anyways, let's jump back now to One Piece Treasure Cruise and start talking about the brand new information that we have today. So here is the official banner and it does say obviously right there, 12% chance to get a legend character, which is a 2.4 times increase of our base legend rate because normally it's a 5% chance multiplied by 2.4 lands us at 12%. Now, this is the exact same legend rate that it was when this banner debuted on Japan. A little bit different though, is that our Sugofest steps are much, much better than Japan steps because on Japan, they didn't have a single discount multi at all. Whereas this one here, we actually have a lot of discount multis. I mean, we've got the 30 gem discount on multi one and we have a bunch of one gem multis as well. So this is a really, really good looking Sugo Fest, honestly, just looking at that. Um, but unfortunately, it doesn't really give us a lot of information. Obviously, it says Ace versus Akainu is here. It talks about the new batch characters, um, but like that's kind of it. We'll have a boosted effect during the end of the era event, which I will we'll briefly touch up on in this video today. Now, one thing I do want to note is that when Kaido versus Big Mom came out, when their banner got officially revealed, um, down below here where it says in the red text, where it says in this Sugo Fest, all wanted posters are guaranteed to be four star or better on their banner kaido versus big mom it did mention right here where that red text was that all legends would be available that is not the case this time around so it looks like it is going to be a restricted pool of legends with a 12 percent legend rate so we don't know how many legends are going to be available but we can draw some information from the japanese side of things to see how many legends potentially are going to be on this banner when it eventually drops. And remember, I will be live streaming my Sugo Fest polls tomorrow when this banner goes live. So make sure to come over to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Toadski down below in the video description. Make sure to go ahead and check that out. But yeah, as we said, like not really much information else, like, cause we, we already knew the steps of the banner because of time travel. Um, and of course we knew the dates already and that's just kind of it. And they don't even reveal what legends are going to be available on each part, which I think is a bit of a missed opportunity. They really should be doing that. But at least we know the the rate boosted characters right and we do know that there's only two parts which is interesting because on the japan side they actually had three parts to this sugo fest so one of the parts is just getting chopped off or they're going to mix in part three characters with part one and two we don't really know how that's going to work yet but we can see that for some reason five star buggy and five star crocodile which are the stampede buggy and crocodile are going to be rate boosted characters now that's kind of cool i mean for for, for buggy specifically he works both with ace and akino because he's a driven shooter character where it works even better with the kinder because buggy says if your captain's a driven unit you get a full board matching slots on top of the debuff removal but still works very well with versus ace crocodile is a strength driven unit works very well with, with a kind as well so i like that they're bringing these characters back they're going to be rate boosted if you guys don't have buggy and crocodile they're fantastic units specifically buggy is very good for garp challenges as well 
so make sure to look out for that. And then for the other Raid Boosted characters, we've got Sengoku, Aokiji, Luffy, and Jozu, the new batch characters, as well as Kamazo, Cat Viper, which is from the, uh, the Roger batch, of course. We've also got Dex Leo, we've got Int Jack, Strength King is going to be available, very good rare recruit there. Strength Capone is a little bit of an average one. Int Anel, and then Gin and Don Krieg will be here, and Uso Hachi. Like, this is a really good batch of rare recruit characters. Like, I'd say, like, over half of these characters are really good rare recruits that you want to have on your account. So I'm liking everything so far. Um, so let's just take this time to talk about the Japan side of things and how their Sugo Fest was structured. So we have this official um, infographic, shout out to Thick for making this infographic when it came out. So you can see that there were parts one, two, and three. My face cam is actually covering one of the parts, but we'll go through that in a minute. But you can see here down the bottom, actually, 12% legend rate up. So 12% legend rate up, the exact same as what it is on global. And they had 24 characters available as Sugo Fest exclusives. So that would lead me to believe that we're probably going to be following suit. Like, we're probably going to be having 12% red rate, 24 available legends, 0.5% chance per character. Makes perfect sense to me if they're going to be copying straight from Japan. Makes a lot of sense. Plus, with part one, Kaido versus Big Mom was advertised to be on part one. And then for part two, Vivi Rebecca V2 were advertised for part two on the banner. Um, and then if we look at part three, the part that is not on the banner that we see so far... Uh, you got Shiroshi Man, Cherry, Halloween Law, Gemma Double Six, Wano Law, Sugar, Snake Man. We've got some pretty good characters here, so we don't know what this part's going to be doing. Like, are we even going to be getting this part from now on? Honestly, it would be so, so bad if they split this part in, like, in, in two and then put it between parts one and two to kind of dilute the pool. I would hate it if they did that, but stranger things have happened, right? There is a limited pool here as well. Remember on the global Sugo, it does mention that there will be a limited pool legend step, but it does also mention that there's going to be a super limited pool step. So we don't know what that's going to be. Um, it would be cool if there's only like five legends available on a super limited pool step to get an even higher chance at some of these better units. We'll have to wait and see. Like imagine if the super limited pool was just this top row would be actually nuts and then on this other part here you've got like these characters here i mean part two doesn't look as enticing honestly like part one just definitely looks better in almost every way kyoto versus big mom halloween shanks isn't super useful um luffy sandy still really good v3 bow was amazing still um, and then as for the rate boosted characters, like these are the same boosted characters that we just talked about. I don't know why this king is here. This should be the other king. That's a bit of a mistake. But you can see uh, the rate up characters for, for this one are a little bit different. Like uh, the Rebecca was not boosted. This was not boosted before. So they are slightly different, but it does mention, if I'm looking at the news post once again, that yeah, the rate boosted characters for part one and part two is just going to be this list here. So it's a bit of a strange one as to why there's different ones on each part. But either way, still pretty interesting. Um, so we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Honestly, I think it would be best case scenario if it's 12% legend rate with 24 legends or less. 24 legends or less with 12% would be absolutely perfect in my eyes. But we'll have to wait and see, obviously, how that actually goes once it's actually implemented. Because we don't know the rates for each individual character until the banner goes live on that day. So we do have to wait just a little bit longer to see how the structure of the Sugo Fest goes. But honestly speaking, this looks like a fantastic banner to be pulling on. Honestly, it really, really does. If it is going to be 12, 24 Legends with 12%, I think this is a banner you should be pulling on. Because this character is amazing. Uh, the rare recruits are all amazing. If you don't have Stampede Buggy and Croc, you should probably try and get them. And and, I mean, potentially could have some amazing uh, featured characters as well in terms of the legends. We'll have to wait and see, of course, how that goes. But anyways, that's the brand new Sugo Fest. It looks pretty awesome. Very, 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 very promising. Now, moving on, there is uh, just some gem sale stuff. Nothing like super amazing, like a 98 gem pack, like pretty typical stuff for the for the gem sales. Uh, scrolling down here, we have the end of an era event, which is what we kind of touched up on when the data download came through. This free-to-play white bid is going to be available, and it's an eight-star difficulty quest. You earn points from the event uh, based on the amount of drops that you get. So you, you know, you, whatever you drop has a point value, and then you bring characters that are. Uh, boosted units for the event and there's a full list of boosted units here so the versus ace and akainu of course you've got the whole new batch of course and also the brand new free-to-play white bid will be a point booster for this event but also you've got like relatively recent characters that are also going to be 1.1 times point boosters so you got the zoro kaido batch you've got a bunch of treasure map units you've got some pvp rare recruit characters coliseum bone kichi and stuff you've got the hiori the otoko um the legend anel and toy soldier like a lot of the more recent characters that have 
have released are going to be 1.1 point boosters. So you're not going to be like missing out on much, even if you like you don't get some of the characters. Uh, even if you've pulled on recent stuff, you're going to be able to uh, at least get some point boost from that, which is cool. And then in this event, you, there's Chopman missions for the new Whitebeard, Gems, I believe, Rumble Scrolls, I think. Um, there's just a bunch of rewards you can get for doing this. And it's an eight star difficulty. It's actually not super difficult. Um, and there's no ambush quest after it, kind of like the Kartmazo event or the Hina event, except that there's no ambush quest. So you don't have to worry about like a super difficult quest or anything like that, which is nice. And then this final thing, which is kind of interesting, well, actually technically two things, because I haven't made a video about this either. The One Piece World Top 100, which is an event that was running through Japan throughout the whole start of this year. And, uh, the, it was like a One Piece popularity poll with every character in One Piece and people were voting and you know the top character was Luffy, Zora was second, Nami was third, Sanji was fourth, Law was fifth and on Japan there's actually a Sugo Fest for this event as well where like some of those characters that you see featured on here, Zora, Juro, Onami, Luffy, Sanji are featured on a banner, nothing too crazy but with this every day you log in you get rewards which includes 10 gems and a legend ticket which is dope so make sure to log in every single day to get that including logging in for this as well so we have the Paramount War in Flames, the uh, campaign event, which is mentioning that, you know, there's a social media campaign, which we've touched up on at the start of this video, but also that the fact that uh, we have the super rewarding login bonus. So every day you log in from June 24th, 1900 PST, you get all of these amazing rewards, which can total you up to 30 additional rainbow gems. So if you count this, plus the actual SNS gems that we're getting, plus the World Top 100 gems, that's definitely over 100 gems that we could get throughout this event period. So that is absolutely phenomenal. Um, really, really generous rewards here. Honestly, just in terms of the campaign and the Sugo Fest thus far, this looks to be one of the better campaigns we've seen this year. And I mean, that's not saying much considering the campaigns this year have been pretty bad, but uh, I'm really looking forward to this event. Ace versus Akane, the one of the most anticipated characters we've seen in Treasure Cruise history. I'm looking forward to this one. As I said, I will be live streaming tomorrow, so make sure to come out to the stream if you guys want to join in the fun. That is going to end this video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that guys i'll see you guys within the next video